What's going on, everyone? I don't know how many people know about the water field cases and straps and bags that are being displayed on this website here. They're very good cases, in my opinion. It looks like they'll be checking out cases for the analog pocket and the Steam Deck. Now, the Steam Deck is something I'm planning on getting, so it is more than likely I will be getting a case for both of these items since their cases are really good. In the video, I'm going to show you I will compare it to the PS Vita water field case that I have. These cases offer many different things that you can do, many different items you can put in. Now here is a similar case for the PS, sorry, for the Nintendo Switch. Now as you can tell, it's a bigger case. Nintendo Switch is a bigger console. So that's why I'm comparing it more to the PS Vita since that is very similar to the analog uh, pocket that I have. So as you can tell, it's full grain leather in various colors and it looks like at the moment they're doing I believe a survey doing a survey that way they get an idea what the people want what they're looking for so yeah so it looks like this is going to be something very good i'm planning on getting it and uh and i will do a review and put it online and see what else thinks so before i start the video i want to thank everybody please like and subscribe to the channel i plan on releasing more videos thank you all right, so this is pretty exciting, uh, at least for me it is. The water field case from sfbag.com looks like it will be coming to the analog pocket and the Steam Deck. Now, I do like these products, as I've mentioned before. I've had good experience with the PS Vita here that I have. Very good quality, I haven't had any issues, and I've had this since 2014. I, I bought this one for $50 back then. We'll see what they price these two new items at now. But just to give you a quick overview of what it could possibly look like, let me just show you this one here. Let's take the PS, PS Vita out. This is what they look like. It's a very simple design. We'll have items here in the back. There's cable storage, anything extra, any extra games, cables, uh, headphones. I have an extra memory card in there. This is honestly a really good case. They're probably gonna have some way for you to store your games. Like I have a One Piece Warriors 2 here. Now it gives me one, two, three, four, five places here for games. Maybe they'll, I would love to see how they're gonna actually do it because I guess Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, and they're gonna attempt to do it for Game Gear games. These are much bigger games. I personally like slimmer products. This was very good for what it was at the time. And I'm not big on big bulky products unless I'm traveling for a while or if I travel a lot, that's a different story because then I'll just put then I'll just put them together in a bigger bag, which makes more sense for people who travel a lot to have the bigger versions of these cases. And this leather is very premium. It feels really good. If you have, if you if you don't have one, I recommend you look into these. I wouldn't be surprised if the price is going to be very similar to this one right here, which was fifty dollars, and the Steam Deck one will probably be even more because that's a bigger device. PS Vita is very similar in size to the Analog Pocket, as you can see here. It is very similar. This is a little bit slimmer. This one was made for the original. PS Vita, which is the OLED, and the PS Vita right here, which is a PS Vita 2000. This is the LCD screen. So I could definitely see it working perfectly, almost very similar to this. This is not a bad option. As you can tell, it's padded inside. This is gonna be very similar to this. Obviously this is a little bit bigger, almost the same size, but it doesn't really completely close. Dimensions are almost the same. Now, if you look on the inside, you'll have very good padding. Like I said, this thing's already going on eight years old and it looks really good. When leather ages, it looks even better. So this is really gonna look good with the analog pocket. Can't wait to get my hands on one of these. I will be buying one when they release since this is something that the product that I've been looking forward to. I like the cases that I also have right now. But I also like having different cases as um, I just like to change a case depending on my mood, where I'm going. I like a slimmer case if I'm traveling local. I like a case or I like a bigger case if I'm traveling further away. Something that I can put more games on. Even though I have 
and EverDrive uh, have an easy flash for both Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color, so necessarily I don't need all my games. But sometimes you can't be playing the original games on these consoles since games like, for example, Perfect Dark or this Kirby game here or Bakai, The Sun Is In Your Hands, you need the sensors that are inside of them in order to properly play. So without those sensors, then you're you're essentially playing something that doesn't can't play to its full fullest potential. And those games are a little bit bigger, especially if you look at the games that have the rumble pack like this. These games are significantly longer than the original Game Boy Color games, you can tell. So this little space adds up when you're storing stuff. And there are plenty of collectors out there who do not like using Easy Flash Juniors or EverDrives. So I'd be very interested to see how this is going to look when it is actually released. Hopefully soon, because I would like to get one of these products again. They're very good. So yes, I definitely recommend a Waterfield case. I'm definitely going to be picking up my, one myself. When I do, I will definitely put a review online. That way everybody can see how it looks, what it feels like. I wish I could show you what it feels like. But I will, I'll definitely have a review out for everybody to see. Okay, everybody. Thank you for watching the video if you made it this far. It's just a quick video, just something for everybody to, you know, maybe get anticipated for. It's something that everybody can look forward to when it comes to another case. Since I've put several cases up there, this case will be more expensive than the other cases that I've put. I don't think I've displayed a case that was more than $20. So this is by far will be the most expensive case that I've put out there. But at the same time, the yeah, analog pocket was $200. And right now, when the increase was $220. So sometimes having a more expensive case that maybe protects it better might not be a bad idea, especially if you're going to do longer trips. So this is definitely going to be something to look out for. Okay, everybody. Thank you. Please like and subscribe to the channel.